What's up everyone, this is your boy BG from Rakish Memories and you welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up everyone, this is your boy BG from Rakish Memories and today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how I retouch my photos using Capture One, Photoshop and Retouching Academy. So stay with me from A to Z, let's get into it. So first of all, I'll upload my picture in Capture One and then I'll do my raw processing. So looking at this picture um capture one has added a bit of red to it and then i will do my basic adjustments that is the highlights blacks shadows and all that so stay with me whilst i start this process so first of all i'm going to create a layer and then i will invert mask so invert max and then I will start um, with my raw processing so I'll reduce the exposure a little bit then my highlight I'll reduce my highlight a little bit so the next thing I'll do is I'll open up my shadows a little bit then reduce the white a little bit uh, looking at the picture I don't like how capture one has added a bit of red to it so I'll reduce the saturation a little bit I think, I think 8 is okay for me so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer so and then invert the marks and then i'm going to blend the colors i mean very well i mean i'm going to match the colors very well looking at the face and then the chest down to the hands you could see um two different colors you understand so i'm going to match up the colors together so i'll go to uh Color. and then i will come to skin tone you can see right here so color editor you, you come to the skin tone and i'm going to pick i mean this tool which is the pick skin color correction so i'll pick this and then i'll zoom in to the forehead and then select the color right here uh, I'm going to okay so I'm going to maintain this so as you can see right here you, you can see uniformity hue so as you all know hue means you are changing I mean the color to the selected color range that you have selected you understand so I'm going to push the slider so let's see what happens now all the colors are turning into the color that I have selected you understand so I'm matching the colors from the face to the skin, I mean to the chest to the hands. Then okay, let me let me let me keep it around 60. I think 60 is fine. And then I'll add saturation. So uh, saturation means I'm adding more color to the color selected. You understand? But then it's not going to change the color it's, it's going to maintain that same color that i have selected but just that it's going to pop that particular color so let me keep it around let me keep it around 40 i think it's fine with the lightness is how bright you want that color to be you understand so this is how it works so um i'm just going to i mean maintain it on um zero i'm not going to push the lightness so as you can see now um the makeup the um highlights the contour and everything has been uh, i mean it has turned into that particular color we selected you understand so we just have to i mean erase it from the color ring so we'll pick our eraser tool this is our eraser tool and then uh we'll keep the hardness 
at zero. Then the size of the brush to your, I mean, the size that you prefer, you understand? So we are going to erase the makeup from the color range selected. So our makeup is back. do the same here so we have to bring back our contours back the lips okay so now we have matched our colors so we are going to clean up uh, the environment as well because it has picked part of the environment i mean in the color ring that we selected so we are going to clean the environment to i mean maintain a natural environment so that is what i'm doing now i'm cleaning up the environment to keep the natural environment that we had during the shoot I think it didn't affect the white so I'll just leave it draw marks to I mean add up the color where it has clean where you didn't want it to I mean clean so you just add it back so you go back to your eraser to clean where you don't want that okay i think i'm done with capture one so the next thing i'll do is i'll move the picture straight to photoshop and then continue my retouching over there so let's do that so i'll just come to the picture then edit with photoshop 2021 that's the photoshop i'm using so edit variant so i'll just go straight to photoshop okay so we are here now the next thing i'll do is um i'll clean up um the face blemishes uh wrinkles i'll do macro dodge and burn then frequency separation so let's continue i'll duplicate this layer at the background layer which is ctrl j then i'll pick my alien brush tool then i'll zoom in a little bit and then start doing my cleanup okay so let's use it okay good we are using the healing brush to to do the cleanup
okay i think i'm done with um the spot removal and all the blemishes so the next thing i'll do is i'll do my macro dodge and bend i'll do my macro dodge and bend i'll do my macro dodge and bend so i'll stand visible control or shift e and go to my adjustments select the curves and then this is what i'm going to do the macro dodge and bend under the eyes and then um some little little things you have to cover up with bend then dodge so first of all i'll start with the bend so i'll put um i'll select the hand tool on the curves and then bring it to the highlight i see over here then drag it down drag it down a little bit and then invert control i then select my brush to I'll make sure my foreground color is white i'll keep the opacity at 100 percent and then the flow at 3 percent and then zoom in and then brush over this place where there's highlight I don't like so I have to over it with pen. Do the same thing here. Oh, let's see the before. this side that's really taking an effect well, keep on burning where highlight is not supposed to so the next thing i'll do is my frequency separation i'll stand visible again control or shift e and then i'll flatten this layer so flatten the image i'll put all the um layers together and flatten it and make it look like it's a new picture i've dropped in photoshop so we still have our background layer then we'll duplicate it i'm going to use the retouching retouching academy panel so i'll select frequency separation yeah gash and blur i'll keep my radius like i explained in the previous video the radius is at a whole point do you want to blur the textures so uh we'll maintain it around i'll select my low frequency my mixer brush i'll keep um these digits yeah it's fine with me so i'll start with my frequency separation make sure you are not brushing from highlights to shadows and then from shadows to highlights
okay so we are done with our frequency separation so let's see the before and after this is the before and after thanks very much for watching please do all to subscribe to my youtube channel i appreciate you peace out